What does the Twilight Saga and Batman have in common? Stick around to find out. What's up, universe, and welcome back to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to Comic Universe, guys. I'm your host, as always, C-Dubs, and I'm running solo on this video. And, guys, new setup. Setup is not the word. Just had to move to a different part of my house because of reasons. Anyway, guys, so I am here today to just keep bringing you bad news, essentially. So today we are talking the fact that Kristen Stewart is being rumored to be up for the role as Batgirl. Okay, so this is kind of all started with a Twitter user um, that is actually well connected within Hollywood said that the role for Batgirl is... Uh, they are looking essentially for Kristen Stewart type actresses and that she is actually one of the picks, if you will, that are possibly up for the role. Now, minus the color of the hair and maybe the somewhat of the body type, if you will, I can't see another reason why they would choose Kristen Stewart for that role. And I'm not trying to be a, a, a hater on the Twilight franchise at all. If you love them, if you like them, more power to you. I've actually seen a few of them. As a <laughs> pop culture connoisseur, it's my duty to watch those type of movies from time to time. Seen them, hated them, but that's my opinion. The worst part of all of those films that I did see was Kristen Stewart. Every movie I see with Kristen Stewart in it is, th she is the worst part of that movie. Every single time. The chick is about as interesting as a wet napkin. You want to know why that napkin is wet? After that, you could care less about that wet napkin. That's the extent of Kristen Stewart. You go, well, why is she in this role? And then at the end of the day, you could care less about Kristen Stewart. And I'm pretty sure most of the universe would have to agree with me on that. Guys, DC, Warner Brothers, who is in charge of your casting? Listen, Aquaman is, looks like it's going to make you guys some money. Thank God. Okay? And I'm not hating on Jason Momoa, but what were you thinking even with that casting? All of your casting choices minus Superman. Henry Cavill as Superman has been WTF moments. Okay? And I guess Cyborg as well. Cyborg is fine as well. Every other major star was a WTF moment. Whether it succeeded or failed... Every other casting choice, you're just like, what the f Why? What is wrong with you guys? Like, is it that hard to find a good actor that looks somewhat similar or that can at least convey the level of compassion and intelligence it takes to play your characters, if, if you will? Trust me, Kristen Stewart is not bad girl. Nothing I have ever seen from her portrays the role of a carefree, you know, spirited Batgirl. No, no. Universe, please let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Don't forget, guys, constructive criticism is always accepted here. If this is the first time you're stumbling upon one of our videos, guys, we do all kinds of nerd culture videos, everything from news like this, to fan fiction and even comic book and movies and, and reviews and things of that nature. And guys, don't forget to animantium slash that like button. Just slash it up. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and family. Help the universe grow to a point where we can all just nerd out together in the comment section below and build a bigger platform for all of us to be ourselves. And guys, don't forget to click that notification bell to be part of our notification squad. And until next time, guys, I'm C-Dubs, and I'll see you in the universe. Peace.